Xbox is rumored to be getting Hell Divers 2. If this is true, this is going to be a problem for Sony. Join us for why bringing Hell Divers 2 to Xbox is a bad idea for PlayStation. This is the medicine. Yeah. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, MM2K Gaming. You name it, I am there back again with another episode of The Medicine. Before we get into this one, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when we're dropping these doses. And when you rock that bell, please make sure that you do not select personalize. Select all personalize lets YouTube decide which content you get to see. And trust me, you do not want that. Do not leave that power in their hands. All right. So again, today's video is titled, Why Bringing Hell Divers 2 to Xbox is a Bad Idea. So as we're getting into this, I want to welcome gamers to today's video because we're going to be diving into the contentious topic of whether PlayStation should allow Hell Divers 2 to be ported to Xbox. Let's explore why this move could be detrimental to PlayStation's ecosystem. This is not just going to be some ramblings of some console warrior. Trust me, we're looking at this from 5,000 feet and hopefully by the end of this, this will make sense to you too. Um, but let's do that by first addressing the exclusivity laws. PlayStation's exclusive offerings define its appeal. Introducing Helldivers 2 to Xbox diminishes this allure, reducing the incentive for players to choose a PlayStation 5. Then there's the community fragmentation. Porting Helldivers 2 risks dividing the player base, undermining the cohesive community cultivated on PlayStation platforms, especially as it equates to support. Now we're gonna touch on this a little bit later. First, we can't forget about the strategic asset this game provides. Hell Divers 2 serves as a strategic asset for PlayStation, enhancing its platform's attractiveness. Sharing it with Xbox weakens this competitive advantage. And now I know some may equate that to some whiny console fanboy complaint, but hold on, we gotta look at this from 5,000 feet. Weakening this advantage softens the support for the platform, which cascades the financial backing towards the quality that has become synonymous with Sony. So yes, all this is interconnected, beyond just being a fanboy, to those that love top-notch quality games. Then there's the all-important reputational and brand risk. Past resistance from PlayStation fans on Reddit signals potential backlash against an Xbox port, posing a reputational risk to the brand. Such risk cannot be ignored, as such a roaring backlash would be catastrophic to the superior image they hold in their market and become a PR nightmare. In addition, you must be cognizant of the resource efficiency issues this cause. Focusing on fewer platforms allows developers to optimize resources efficiently, ensuring better quality and performance. Quality control and technical optimization, a limited number of platforms enable rigorous quality assurance and technical optimization resulting in a higher quality in product. Now for solutions, really a simple one exists let's talk about it. and that is playstation 5 cloud streaming yes here i go again with this cloud streaming stuff but hold on again let's look at this from 5,000 feet hear me out utilizing playstation 5 cloud streaming offers an efficient risk adverse method to expanding that user base beyond the console while maintaining exclusivity while reaching a broader audience now the accolades for the service is outstanding Building on this already proven tech via a PC slash device application eliminates risk for piracy, reputational risk, and the resource waste risk that we talked about prior. So here's my conclusion, y'all. PlayStation risks compromising its competitive edge and brand identity by allowing Helldivers 2 on Xbox. And no, these are not moans and groans from some console warrior. Logistically, a move like this just aims to hurt inadvertently or not it aims to hurt the game which i enjoy and the console in the long term which i am also enjoying and it's just not me it's millions tens of millions that are enjoying the playstation platform maintaining exclusivity and focusing on quality is essential for long-term success especially for playstation and i personally don't believe the rumors but hey anything is possible i've told you in previous content 
Hiroki Totoki being the interim um, while uh, Jim Ryan is, is gone makes me itch as a gamer. However, I seriously caution Sony. If your play is for more players, do it through cloud gaming interaction instead. These native ports water down your bread and butter, your hardware, diverts valuable resources, and like for Xbox, can actually slow your revenue growth. I hope Sony is wise enough to recognize this, but all we can do is wait and see. And that's it from your boy. Let me know what y'all think about all this in the comment section below. Cause like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They will lead you to geeks. Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, and yes, here, MM2K Gaming. With all that said, peace. Have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.